and then how he just consistently grinded and gotten better and better and better, and now he's here, the best player in SoCal for Smash Ultimate. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's see how this starts off. We're actually going for the Ditto. I know uh, Larry has a couple other characters he can use too, but let's see how it goes for the first round here. Yeah, oh, of course, the Ditto. I mean, Larry has already kind of stated that, you know, he's going to be sticking with Wolf. He does have the, the Falco. Um, if you're a proprietary or a subscriber to the Falco agenda, you know, he, he has that. And, of course, he also has a fox. So a big, a big uh, use of spaces in his pockets. Yeah. We'll see how many uh, side beats that <laughs> Charlie gets this round. We're going to... Start. Okay, a couple of nares. Takes him across the stage both times. He's got himself ledge control. He's gonna give it up. Off for the blaster. See if he can catch him off guard. Ooh! Ooh jumps right over the board smash. Very interesting move from Larry. But uh, you, you'll pull that every now and then. But the back throw is gonna be able to close it out. Charlie with a very slight lead right now. Well, I can understand the S smash from Larry's point of view. Charlie had been kind of uh, drifting in and out of the danger zone. It's essentially Larry's space. And if you do, uh, in fact, S shield or F smash someone's shield, it is safe. So, yeah, and just look, just look at that. After the platform chase is already putting Larry Lur at 80 percent. Very Ooh. good spot for Wolf to be in against his opponent. Let's see what he's gonna try and do. The shield looking a little bit small, but he still got control again. Four tilt. Yeah, dashing back and utilizing it to his advantage, just continuing to force Larry off stage, and then just pressuring him and trapping him over and over. And here we go. Double dash attack, no, a single dash attack, and no wolf flash. There is the wolf flash, and he has no jump. But unfortunately, uh, I think Charlie was hoping to get a little bit more from yeah. that wolf flash. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was his first stock. He's going to take that damage, too. I mean, if it was going to lead to a spike, might as well. But mm -hmm. didn't quite pan out the way he wanted to. But again, Larry Larry going to get that opening here. Oh, OK, and just okay. like that, Larry Larry's back in the game, yo. <laughs> yeah, you got to watch out for that down smash. One of the best ledge trap tools and edge guard tools in this game. Mm -hmm. And of course, just like that, Larry putting himself back in a, in a winning position. Well, in a position to win game one. <laughs> yeah, he could. He but I think the way Charlie plays, unless he makes some sort of ballsy wolf slash like the last time, I don't think he's probably going to lose this game just because how consistently Charlie plays most of the time. There mm -hmm. it is. The, the back, back air. Gonna that back it air. Out. Game one goes to Charlie. That back air is crazy. Like, it is so safe and it's so strong. Yeah, mo mo <laughs> a lot of characters can't can't deal with that move. Yeah, that's that's all you have to say. It's strong. It, it's, it's strong fast, and safe. It's safe. It's fast. Yeah. Must be nice. <laughs> it must be nice. It must be nice. <laughs> yeah. Let's we'll see where Larry takes uh, Charlie for game two. Oh. That is how it works, right, losers? Yes, <laughs> losers still get to pick the stage. <laughs> it's been a long time, so most of them are, will be jokes. Most of them. Oh, but if okay. A, if a Kazuya comes out, then I'm leaving the commentary. Just letting you guys know. Oh, right no, now. man. All you got to do is grab them three times <laughs> and they die. I feel like, Kaz okay, you know what? We're bring that up after this after this game, and I'll tell you why I honestly like view Kazuha. Kazuya. Oh, look. Oh, look. <laughs> Z-Fly, your favorite, the Falco Agenda. <laughs> I mean, let's let's just see how it comes out. I I, I really honestly didn't expect him to uh, to pick Falco, mm -hmm. but I guess Larry must be feeling a, a little bit pressured and feeling like that he needs to be able to um, essentially do a cutscene onto onto Charlie to uh, establish stage control and and put a lot of numbers on him. Yeah, let's see. Good parry. Put them into up tilt. Not gonna be able to chain it across the platform. But still, he's getting a decent amount of damage. But I just, like, look, understanding how Falco works and when you can, like, attack him or not, essentially the, the idea of when it's my turn to attack is so difficult because they're, a lot of his hitboxes are deceptive. Mm -hmm. um, perfect example is the drill peck, the, the forward air. Right. Uh, it has an earthquake box, which means that whenever he's, done, he's spinning and he lands on the ground, it's going to make another attack. Right. So I should be able to attack him. Yes? No, actually. Okay, but Charlie the King showing that he has a very clear understanding of how this matchup goes. So one <laughs> thing <laughs> whenever you're playing against a Falco is that you don't want to be above them or you don't want them to be ha uh, have access to up tilt, essentially. Yeah. If, if Falco can take to the sky, he can definitely chain you for a lot of damage. But you know what? Wolf can do that as well. Going for the forward air, loses his jump, tries to catch him with the dash attack, but he just goes barely in between. Okay, a lot of spaghetti, a lot of a lot of missed checks right there, but 
Larry with the, yep, the illusion into back air. That's a classic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gonna be able to close out that stock without not too much damage going in, but still 70%. That's a big opening for Charlie to try and go. Oh! No, no, he's not gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like Nair was the call there just so you could have the multi hit, but if down air did land, mm -hmm. Charlie would have been dead. Yeah. So I, I completely understand. Mm -hmm. just, that was just scary in general how he fell back. I thought he was going to miss input something, but he was able to make it back. <laughs> Shows how focused that Charlie is throughout this whole mm -hmm. scenario. Okay, good Ooh. parry. A down tilt into up air. Up air is not going to take the stock, but just putting on a little bit of extra damage onto Charlie. That's the goal here. Putting him to a good enough number to where you can either get like an up tilt into back air or a down tilt into a back air. Up tilt into back air. That's going to be able to close it out. Larry, for once, with a lead going into this game here. Oh, and there's the bait. What was I talking about? That forwarder? <laughs> don't don't fall for it. That's the agenda right there. Up till in the forwarder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how'd you get back? Ooh, the side beat into the immediate up till, but Charlie's ready for it. He's going to... All right, let's see here. Still trying to find his opening, oh. not quite finding anything yet. <laughs> Okay, I like that directional air dodge into the corner. That is what's going to really allow Larry to, to make it back without having to expend his up B. Because mm -hmm. you know when Falco goes for the up B, he is a sitting bird. All right, got to go back up. Oh, there's a the neutral air. He's got himself a good opening. Let's see what he can do. The neutral air does not catch him. All right, the back throw. This is going to be able to close it out. Here we go. Okay, that time he waited out the, the forward air. He was able to close that out. Gonna get him some big combo here. Charlie, all of a sudden, leaving himself in the position to be able to take this game and close it out real quick. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And just like that, looking for those F tilts, looking for the forward, the forward air, the back air, the back air lands. And here we go. Game three. The Falco worked. The bird came to fly. Yeah, that was a little bit too close for comfort, but. Alrighty. Man. Now, the question is, I mean, he's probably going to keep Falco because I, he, he actually got to win this time, so. I don't know. I feel like they're really dependent on the stage. Because mm -hmm. if, uh, if we go somewhere with, like, no platforms, I don't think Falco's going to stay. Right. I think if uh, I think if uh, we, we get somewhere with a lot of platforms, Wolf might actually come back. Mm -hmm. So it really dependent on the stage where Larry opts for Falco or to go back to Wolf. I don't Ooh. think we're going to see Fox. I don't think Fox is in play for this game. Okay. Okay. Going with the Falco. Uh, uh, I, I, I'd be afraid. Uh, I don't know. The, the stadium, it looked like Charlie was really nailing the sequences on the platforms a lot right, more than Larry right, was. So right. We're going to have to see how that goes out. Okay. But here we go. You know, one thing I'd like to point out from game two that was really uh, accessible to Larry that wasn't for, for um, that we didn't really see him using game one was the ability to reflect projectiles onto uh, to his opponent. Mm -hmm. Like, we saw Larry use a reflector a lot more uh, as Falco than he did as Wolf. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think that really eliminated uh, a good zoning tool and pressure tool that Charlie was abusing. Okay, here we go. Up tilt. Oh, no, excuse me. Up throw into up air. He got himself an opportunity. He's not going to be able to find anything, but he causes a trip with the reflector. Mm -hmm. And did you see that what option with Larry was using at the ledge? Like, let's just dissecting that ledge pressure a little bit. You can see that he threw out a down air right when invulnerability was going to run out. So if Charlie had stayed just a little bit too long, he actually would have just lost. Mm -hmm. He would have just lost the stock. Right. So here we go. Good down throw. Illusioning back to the stage. And an up smash to cover the roll. Yeah, that was very nice. Oh, but tries to go for another up smash. Going to hit it from the illusion into the back air. Charlie getting a little bit greedy. Trying to go for these edge guards. He can close out the stock really easily as Wolf. So he shouldn't have to try and rush it. I know that he can uh, close it out very easily, but another opportunity from Larry. Gets a couple of up airs, tries to keep on the pressure, but he's able to get away just in time. That's right, that's right. And another up smash, that's what's going to do it. Why choose, why guess what side my opponent's going to be on when I can just hit both? Mm -hmm. Why, Cedric, why? <laughs> well, let's see here. Okay, 
That's an easy shield grab. Go ahead and get that up air. Ooh, the dare actually. Put himself in position, chasing him on the tech, on the miss tech with that side B. Gets a lot of damage out of that. Okay, the space, the space forward airs and F tilt, you can see really being the combo starter for both players. They're spacing their con uh, what they need to convert off of. And here we go, Larry pulling back, uh, really resorting to using the laser. Mm -hmm. I like that he's taking his time, even though when he's at the ledge, he's taking his time trying to get back. He's not trying to rush it because that's where Wolf is really at a bit, big advantage. Mm. Just like that, mm. he's going to mm. be able to shield that side B, goes in with the up smash, closes out that stock. All of a sudden, Charlie can turn this around. He's going to go get that dash attack into the up air. Daisy chain him up the top. Yeah, it's so unfortunate for Larry because it's really going to be that 50-50. Do I illusion high and do I be offensive or do I illusion to the ledge and try and just reset all my resources? And he chose high. Charlie was looking for it. And you no longer illusion through shields. So that was just easy punish. And speaking of easy punish, up B on shield, down yeah, tilt. I think, I think he was trying to trip him up. I think because of the little delay that the up B has, maybe he could trip up Larry there. But Larry, very focused on his opponent. He's able to figure out that punish. Ooh. And all of a sudden, he's got a sequence, but falls out of the nair. Unfortunate that position for Murat Larry. That was just straight up great SDI from Charlie. He was ready. He knew as soon as he got hit with the illusion that the nair was going to come out. And he was, Larry was trying to push him forward off to the stage. And oh, oh, oh! He did it! Damn. He did it! He ran off and down here! Damn. I first, first, last stock, he finally goes in and just does it. He knew exactly when Charlie was 